Once again, welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's exercise, we're going to be creating this object from this 2D drawing. To do so, go ahead and pause the video, observe the dimensions and the shapes. And once you're complete, unpause the video and let's see how you did. Let's get started. Let's select the top view, create a new component, create a sketch on the visible plane. And let's create a series of circles. This inside circle is going to be my guide when I create the shell. I know that the shell is going to be about 2.5 millimeters. And the reason I know this is because I selected the measure tool from inspect. I selected the two circles and I know that the distance between these are going to be 2.5 millimeters. This is for the subsequent shapes that are attached to this circle. Selected a three point arc. What I'm gonna do, zoom in. The center point of this arc I want it to line up or be coincident with this point here. So it's locked into place and it won't move. I'll add a dimension to the arc and I'll connect it to the circle with a series of lines. demonstrate what I was talking about earlier, I'm going to go ahead and bring back the sketch. Use the shell command, select this bottom face. And you can see that it is actually 2.5. Now I'm going to go ahead and sketch the vents. Selecting this bottom edge here. Going to rotate it. I'm going to start out with a center point slot to do this. Make sure it doesn't snap to anything so you can add dimensions.
I know that the distance between each arc is going to be about six millimeters and I also want seven of them. So to do that, I use a rectangular pattern command. Select all of the objects, click the one I don't want. I don't need to select direction. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out for a second. I want a quantity of seven. Distribution should be spacing and distance is going to be six. Direction symmetric. I'm going to extrude them through the object, each one of these. I'm just going to touch the top. turn back on the previous sketch, sketch one, use extrude command, select this item here. And I'm going to go ahead and use the circular pattern command. And I'll need a quality of 3Ds. Select features, select the previous extrusion. And if you're so inclined, what you can do is go ahead and add some fillets. And that completes this project. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick exercise. Stick around, because there will be more to come.